Look at this. If the packet size is 1 KB and the propagation delay is 15 milliseconds, the channel capacity is 10 power 9 bits per second. So there, it is all normal. See, packet size is 1 KB is fine and the propagation delay is 15 milliseconds. It is normal. But the channel capacity, if you look at it, the channel capacity is 10 power 9 bits per second. It is not normal. In the sense, if, if you look, if you talk about channel capacity, what did I tell you about channel capacity in the lectures? That the number of bits a wire or the channel can hold at, a, at any time, the maximum number of bits it can hold is normally channel capacity, isn't it? But then here, if you, if you look at it, they are talking that channel capacity is 10 power 9 bits per second, which means they are giving the channel capacity as bits per second therefore it is not actually channel capacity it is bandwidth that is the twist in the equation everything else is normal it is plain question only thing is always remember that in computer networks questions they will be twisted in terms of the terminology they will say that it is channel capacity but actually they are giving it as bandwidth and sometimes they give that uh, velocity is uh, you know meters per second should be the value but then sometimes they, they give microseconds per meter so looking at the units, you should be able to understand what they really mean. So even though they are saying that it is channel capacity, understand that it is bandwidth from the units. Find the transmission time. Transmission time is straightforward. TT equal to L by B. Now what is L? L is uh, length of the packet, which is nothing but 1 kilobyte, which is 1024 is kilo and byte is 8 and bandwidth is given in bits. Why did I convert it to bits? Because bandwidth is given in bits divided by 10 power 9 this is tt and already tp is given right so tp is 15 milliseconds right and they are asking about what is the utilization of sender i told you that utilization of sender or link utilization or efficiency everything is same coming to stop and wait everything comes down to efficiency equal to 1 upon 1 plus 2a so you can substitute all these values and you can get it from this you find out tt and from tp is already given therefore what is 1 upon 1 plus 2a 1 upon 1 plus 2 into tp by tt straightforward you can substitute it and get it there is nothing in this just the values or uh, there's the uh, way they have given it is different